Hi guys, welcome to a hot and humid July 4th morning here in Ohio. Um, I am not complaining though, I love summer, but it does feel good to go inside then where there's air conditioning. Um, but yeah, we've had really hot weather today, I think it's supposed to be in the low 90s, so I had a hard time this morning positioning my camera, so you guys can't see all the clutter behind me. Hopefully some of these panels will block it off, but uh, yeah, I have a tendency, you know, to just buy things that I want to repurpose someday and just kind of pile it in here. Um, so that's what this space is for, so you'll just, yeah, have to excuse that. Uh, but yeah, today I'll be working on uh, creating an island for my parents' home. They're moving tomorrow, they bought an older home, and we've been doing some painting, and they changed the floors and some, kind of that, windows, that sort of thing. And they tore out this cabinet section they didn't want on the one side of the wall there in the kitchen. And the kitchen didn't have an island, so I said, I think I'll be able to make an island out of this uh, for them. And uh, as you can see, you know, the piece was all drawers. Um, my plans are to open up the one side for a trash can and then use the four drawers on the, the other side. So, um, and I also want to get some height on the, the piece because uh, I, I know it's, you know, it's kind of low for an island. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. Um, I bought this paneling here at Lowe's. It's like a beaded paneling. And I have plans to wrap it around. Right now there's no back or anything on the back here since it was against the wall. So I'll yeah wrap that around. And um, the top here was some wood that we had on hand and we took to the local uh, lumber place and they glued it together. Uh, I think it was $20 to glue it together for us. And that will be nice since there's no cracks then in the uh, top. And the drawers I had previously applied a stain block or two. Uh, one time when I was had my sprayer going anyway, I just um, sprayed those two. So uh, those are ready to you know have the final coat of paint then. So um, yeah, I'm never sure when I start a project like this where it'll go. But um, as of now, this is kind of my plan. And um, who knows, I thought maybe if I need some more height, um, I can always add casters, like the wheels too. That would also bring it up. So. Um, yeah, not sure what's going to happen, you know, sometimes I change my mind as I go, but um, yeah, follow me as I work on it and we'll see what happens. just uh, bringing the island just up a bit. Uh, I still have in mind to maybe add the wheels to even bring it up a couple more inches because I want to try to get that standard 36 inches I think is the standard height for an island. So uh, yeah this board will go you know, underneath here. I'll fasten it from uh, the top.
to apply it. on this uh, island top here I am applying two coats of this polycrylic um, it's Minwax brand love this stuff uh, this one is a clear matte finish um, I often use satin but uh, yeah for this I wanted the, the matte finish I lightly sand in between coats mm -hmm. 